New York City has 14 wastewater treatment plants. In total, we treat about 1.3 billion gallons per day. There are about 8.5 million people in New York City. Uh, all of their wastewater is treated at one of the 14 plants. Here at Newtown Creek, the service area is about 1.1 million people. This plant here at Newtown Creek, though, is the largest of the 14 plants. It treats, on average, about 225 million gallons a day. We receive sewage from parts of Brooklyn, a little bit of Queens, and actually almost the entire uh, east side of Manhattan and lower Manhattan. We're right now at the lowest level of the facility, about 50 feet below street level, where the raw, untreated sewage enters the plant. We have the sewage pass through a series of metal bars that are spaced about an inch apart, and those bars remove anything that may get into the sewer system that could clog up pumps or other equipment. A lot of the material we do see are sanitary wipes, which unlike toilet paper, really don't break down in the sewer system. So occasionally things wash up on the screens that shouldn't be in sewer systems. Fish, we get turtles, we get dollar bills from time to time. A few years ago, there was a firearm that uh, came onto the screens. NYPD got involved with, with that. A lot of things that are in sewage can't be physically or mechanically removed. They have to be removed in other methods. So we remove that material here at what are called the aeration tanks. Uh, and in these tanks, we cultivate microorganisms that are naturally occurring, and they actually consume organic material that's in sewage, and that's part of the, what we call the biological treatment process here at the plant. We're now at a part of the process called the final settling tanks. Organic material that has now been consumed by microbes is heavy enough where it can settle to the bottom of these tanks and be physically removed for later processing. Obviously, treating sewage from a million people uh, can be odorous, so we do a lot of odor control here at this plant. All of the tanks are are essentially covered where there can be odors, and that odorous air that are trapped under the covers passes through activated charcoal, which removes a lot of the odor-causing materials. The organic material that we remove from the wastewater is called sewage sludge, and we now have a couple of processes for that material. One of them is called thickening. We're at the top of one of the eight egg-shaped digesters here at the plant. We're about 140 feet in the air. It gives you a good view of the city. The purpose of digestion is fairly simple. We want to take the organic material that's in the sewage sludge, fats, proteins, carbohydrates, and break them down into more basic components like carbon dioxide, water vapor, and methane gas. And that's done here in these digesters. As you see here, this is the last step uh, in the process. We've added bleach to the wastewater, and it's leaving the plant at this point and going down to an outfall that releases the treated sewage into the East River. There are federal regulations that require all wastewater treatment plants in the country to remove at least 85% of the organic material that comes into a plant. This plant generally removes between 92 and 95% of the material, so we do better than federal standards.